Eastern Conference Semifinals, Game 1. Austin are coming off a dominating four-game sweep in Round 1. Will their confidence finally be tested? Tonight, they go up against Houston. The opening game of the Conference Semifinals, up next. Yes, sir. Welcome back to the Golden Fish No League Playoffs. It's your boy, Rich Dollar. This is the last, last second round matchup, last Elite Eight matchup. We got the Houston Voyagers taking on the Austin Bullets. Austin was the only team to sweep in the last series in the first round. They swept the Denver Rockies, and they're coming in with hella momentum, Look, looking like the overwhelming favorites. But... It's going to be tough to stop Rich Mack. On the other side, they got Nas Barkley. He got some size, but he ain't no damn Rich Mack. We all know what he about. That's a motherfucking monster right there. A monster. It's going to be tough to stop him, but let's see what they got with the guard play. Big guard, Kyle Beecham, and then one of the best elite scorers on the wing, Sincere Porter. It's about, the time. It's about time we tip this John off. Let's get right. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Let's turn this thing up. Let's turn this thing up. Early with it. Sincere Porter going downhill again. The and one over Niles Leslie. Going right with the floater again. The and one. Feeding into the post of Rich Mack. Go to work. Go to work. Show me something. Set the tone. Drop step. Set the tone. Set the tone. He is a monster. A monster. Fighting for their life on that low block. Fighting for his life on that low block. Oh, my God. Nah, Rich Mac is... Rich Mac is Rich Mac. Rich Mac is Rich Mac. Niles Leslie coming on it. Oh, ch -ch boom! Light it up, Niles. You know he can fill it up from downtown. Now Rich Mack with a great screen and lob it up and put Nazir Barkley in the rim. Goodness gracious. Oh, he just won again in the post, though, by the way. He jumped. Sincere Porter going back downhill. Okay, with the tween. Get to the right. Throwing it down with two hands. Saw Rich Mack coming. You had to go up strong with it. Respect it. Now Royal Paris misses it. And Rich Mack on the glass. Oh, yeah, this brother, he can't stay with him. He's not physical enough, Scott Anderson, to handle Rich Mack. But he is athletic to jump and get that lob, though. Definitely do that for sure. Kyle Beach, I'm setting him up on that lob. Mike Bentley getting downhill and lobbing it up to Rich Mack, and he just throws it down. Well, he really don't have to jump like that. Wingspan is stupid. Standing reach is ridiculous. Zach Edelman, step back. In a post, that's tough. Creating enough separation and coming off a pin down. Ch -ch Boom! Niles Leslie. Now Rich Mack. Back in his element. Back in his element. Who said he don't got footwork like that? Footwork and great touch. And that crazy size? Good luck trying to stop that. My goodness. I can't. I don't know how niggas is going up against Shaq like that. Because he had immaculate touch and great footwork with some sheer power. And Kyle Beecham taking it coast to coast. And Mike Bentley kicking it up to Adrian Sparks. Ch -ch boom! Light it up, Adrian. Downtown, Makai Terry joining in on the party. Makai, 62 to 40. They are smacking them right now. They look like they belong on the same court. 22 rebounds per game by Rich Mack. Zach Edelin with a tough finish over verticality of Rich Mack. Respect it. Going right at him. And Sincere Porter has Niles Leslie. Oh. Boom. Light it up. FaceTime. Doesn't need much space. And speak about not much space. Oh, Mike Bentley misses it. But Rich Mack on the glass. Yo, you got to send three motherfuckers down there to box them out. One is not enough, especially a skinny Zach Edelman. 
you know, Rich Mac, the dog when it comes to all that glass. And Royal Parrish over here dribbling too much, turns it over. And Sincere Porter putting him in the blender, sir. Mike Bentley. Pass it to Rich Mack, and Rich Mack can now hang on to the ball. Kick it out to Destin De La Rosa, and he throws it down with the right-hand slam, and they cut it to single digits. But it's back up to double digits. Destin, Destin with the shot clock winding down with the ch -ch boom from downtown. KB, Kyle Beecham getting downhill and finishing with the two-handed slam. Mr. High Riser. Throw it into the post. When you need a bucket, give it a Rich Mack. They not sending no double teams, and that's a bad decision as he does a pull up on the rim. One of with bad intentions. And going back door, Nazir Barkley gets a dunk of his own on the receiving end of an alley oop. Sincere Porter going baseline and throwing it down with the two handed slam. Nice, decisive decision. Coming off a handoff. Ch -ch boom! Andrew, not Andrews. I was about to say Andrews Rucker. Adrian Sparks. Getting the and getting the steal and getting the and one at the pickpocket and sincere Porter. They found themselves right back into the game. It's a six point game. Destin shot clock winding down, kicks it out to sincere Porter and he knocks it down. And you know what time it is. Getting into the post of Rich Mac. They set in a soft double team. Rich Mac just goes right to work and gets the bucket right back. But they're trading threes or twos. It's a five-point game. KB. KB misses it, but it's put back by Zach Edelin. Three-point game. Back to a five-point game right now. He throwing a crazy pass right there. And Sincere Porter getting downhill. He's had a couple blow buys. Since the beginning of the game, he's had many blow buys. Niles Leslie could not stay in front of him. But they throw to Rich Mack. And they trying to they don't send, they don't send a hard double. And he gets the and one going right through the chest of Sky Anderson. He's too little. Baby. Baby. Mouse in the house. Did he just travel? I don't know, but he just threw that shit down. That's what, that's what I really know. He might have traveled. It's a six-point game. Shot clock winding down. Ball in the hands of KB. A pop by Zach Edelin, and he buries it. One possession game. Shot clock is winding down. Adrian Sparks is defended by KB. KB looks like he's playing great defense, and Nas Barkley comes in with the block to force a shot clock violation. Give me that shit. <laughs> Give me that too. Shot clock winding down. They pass it to Rich Mack at the three point line. Rich Mack turn around, jump shot. He misses it. Zach Edelin, they got a chance to tie if they hit a three. Going back doors, Destin De La Rosa. They was getting twaxed by like damn near 22 points. And they're right back into this game. Destin's over here flexing. It's a one-point game. Less than a minute to play. Adrian Sparks putting on the moves. Getting to the basket, shooting up the floater. That's a smart decision by Adrian Sparks. Getting boogie and getting to it in the clutch. And now they have a chance to deliver the dagger. Throw it down to Rich Mack. They send a double team. Rich Mack doesn't. It doesn't matter. Send three at that motherfucker. He he taking over. He taking over. Ice in the game right there. Rich mother effing Mack. Nigga, I'll be cursing on here all the time. Rich, rich motherfucking Mack. You know, you know what it is. Stop playing with that man. He is goaded. Goaded. And the Austin Bullets end up winning game one. I'll give I'll give the Voyagers a little bit of respect. Actually, man, no, fuck that nigga. It's the gold official league. We, we expect excellence out of both teams. But that motherfucker right there. He is a problem. Problem. Rich Mack. Hey. Violated. Was catching bodies all game long. I was about to say taking souls, but that's crazy. 35 points, 24 rebounds, 8 assists, and 2 steals and 2 blocks, bro. This nigga is putting up Wilt Chamberlain-like numbers. 
and the pace is not even crazy. It's playoff basketball. The best of the best he's going up against. You know, none of these bigs are really fucking him, to be honest. But, but he is really like that. Adrian Sparks also did his thing. Spin move, getting buckets. Was draining it from downtown. That floater was clutch. Ch -ch boom. Lined it up. Boom. 25 points, 7 assists for Adrian. Miles Leslie didn't even get off. He got cooked. 36 points for Cincinnati Porter. He was getting he was going getting to it. Getting downhill at will, too. And it started early in the game. From start to finish, he showed up. Respects. Respects for the stars showing up. They don't really got no answer to it. And, uh, that's the thing about this Austin Bullet squad. The defense, other than Agent Sparks, he's their point guard, 6'5", best perimeter defender. But other than that, they don't really have, like, the the wings to, well, the guys really defend on the wings. But you got Rich Mack behind you. I guess that's probably the greatest asset. Kyle Beecham. Getting to the basket, too. Had a little ass Mike Bentley defending him. Gotta change them matchups. 29 points and 8 assists for Kyle Beecham in that game. Destin, he started getting to it a little bit towards the end. Since their Porter had 15 points in that fourth quarter. On the other side, Adrian Sparks and Rich Mack basically carried. Let's see if they got an answer for them in game two, though. Now I'm gonna hold you. I might have deleted the. The file for this. But anyway, we about to take a look at the stats real quick. Rich Mack had 32, 15, and 6. They ended up winning. Uh, Agent Sparks had 21 and 10. The answer is they did not stop them. <laughs> On the other side, let's take a look at what they did real quick. Since here, Porter had 29 points, 11 rebounds, 6 assists. 8 of 23 from the field, though. And a no-show was Kyle Beach on 5 points, fouled out. Come on, bro. You got to be better than that. Into game 3. Another smackdown put on by the Bullets. 41 and 15 on 15 and 20 by Rich Mack. 16 and 14 assists by Adrian Sparks. Uh, the starting five was well balanced. The top six was well balanced on this team. And on the other side, since their Porter had 39, he came up. He showed up this time. And so did Kyle Beecham in them. But the benches wasn't enough. They are down 3 0 and about to face a verge of another sweep. And we're about to head into game four. In semifinals, Houston have their backs against the wall, down three games to none. Can the dream of defying history by doing what no team has done before drive them to victory? It's a must win game four against Austin. Will there be a round two upset in the cards? It's coming up next. Uh, we back in game four in Space City. They rocking the Space City jerseys. We in Houston, H-Town with it. But it's smelling mighty, 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 it's mighty dusty. Might have to get the brooms out and start sweeping. That's what it's smelling like. Might be curtains for them tonight. This bullet squad is just too much. Too much. Rich Mack and the squad. They dominant. They about to sweep their way to the final four. And this is against real competition. Just making it look easy. But let's see if Houston could go out with some pride. It's about pride tonight, fellas. Let's see if y'all got any. In the Thunder Dome. Time to get this tipped off. If you haven't already, hit that like button. What you doing, bro? What you doing? Pick and roll, turning the ball over early. Adrian Sparks pushing it up. And hey, yow! On that rim, start it off, set the tone. Over here, flexing on him. Kyle beat him. Oh, my God. Come on, Kyle. Kyle slacking. Adrian said, give me that. Let me hold that one for, me. for the one time. Early 9-2 lead. Get to the basket. Give me that shit, dummy. Are you stupid? 
Royal Paris outrunning Sincere Porter and on that rim. This is a terrible start right now. They they want to get swept. They got to call a timeout early. Boom. Give me that show. Are you stupid? Early 11 2 lead. Shit could get dark real quick. But Sincere Porter again right to his spot, going baseline, knocking it down. Doesn't see the defense. Step back, Adrian Sparks knocks it down. Yo, know, Rich Mack is, he got to lead the league in screen assists. Rudy Gobert type shit. But Kyle Beach and wide open for three and knocks it down. And screen assist is a point. You feel me? Kyle Beecham going downhill, taking it coast to coast himself. That's the Kyle Beecham I want to see. Not the one that's getting pickpocketed. Adrian Sparks getting his third dunk already in the first quarter. Bad pick and roll defense. No resistance at the rim. No help. All Adrian. Now Rich Mack getting his shit pent by Scott Anderson. Hey, yo. You don't see that too often, but light it up. Boom. Kyrie Lewis off the bench. And now again downhill. Kick it to the corner. Scott Anderson passes it out to Kyle Beecham. He throws it up on the throws the grenade up. Adrian Sparks is on that. Adrian playing great defense. Gets the steal. Early in the second quarter. Stefan Kinsley gets the basket. Euro stepping his way and finishing in front of the rim. And now Adrian Sparks. Oh. Pump fake, stay on your feet, going baseline. Is Niles Leslie with the tough and one finish reverse? He likes Sensei Porter doing that. he been studying his tape. Now Niles Leslie coming off a cut, going baseline. That's a tough shot. That's a tough shot. Shot clock winding down. Destin throws a rifle pass to Nazir Barkley, and he throws it down. They back into this game. Pass it to Rich Mack. We haven't seen this too much. He throws a rifle pass. Ch -ch Boom! Light it up. Kyle Beecham pull up. Ooh, that's tough. Pass it to Scott Anderson. He trying to post up Rich Mack. Yo, Rich Mack, he not showing no resistance. Oh, never mind. Give me that. He did that shit on purpose. He baited him. He trying to take it coast to coast. Oh, get out the way. He baited him because he was moving on the post. No showing, no resistance. And now again, down here, hey, yo, Rich Mack, you ain't blocking that one. That brother went up with a purpose. Step back. Ch -ch -ch boom. Oh, never mind. Rich Mack, yo. Yo, this, that's a man right there. He fighting for his life to box him out. Rich Mack just moved him. The brother tried climbing on his back. He like 6'11", 265. Did not phase Rich Mack at all. And Mike Bentley finishing around that rim. Mighty small. But that's a mighty bucket right there. Rich Mack with the steal. Eddie Usher. Lob it up. Oh, pass it back in Rich Mack. Oh, my goodness. Get out the way. Oh, automatic basket. Rich Mack got a paint touch. That's automatic. Got great positioning. It's over once he catches. Now back into the pick and roll. Lob it up. Nah, yo, Nas Barkley love getting posterized by Rich Mack. He want to be famous. He want to be famous on that Rich Mack poster, but he blows right past Rich Mack. Hey, yo. Ooh. Yeah, elevation is right. He took off. He said he had enough. Trying to get a highlight of his own. I see Rich Mack rebounds is going down. Was that like 22 last time? I think now it's at 20. What a bummer. Give me that shit, stupid. That's six blocks and it came by Rich Mack. He doing it all. Doing it all. Shot clock winding down. Oh, Kyle Beach said block this. Slow that motherfucker to the sky. Only way how. What you doing? Bumbling the ball and Rich Mack throwing it down. Doing a pull up on the rim. I'm telling you. This GFL, bro, we had to get some special reinforcements for the rims because we know what Rich Mack about. And 
man, they've been getting pickpocketed all game long. And this time is Eddie Usher going uptown in H-Town. Stephon Kinsley drives to the basket, sweep by uptown. Oh, my God. Hop step. Nigga throw down on his teammate. Yeah, it's over. They up by four, but I'm so confident with them. Kyle Beecham getting double teamed in the paint. Kyle Beecham finding a wide open Jalon Morgan. That's a great pass. Rich Mack defended by Nas Barkley. He just does a turnaround hook shot. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, is a cheat coach. Boom. That shit was water. Nas Leslie. Line it up. Double screen. Eddie Usher passing to Rich Mack, and he designates right over Nas Barkley. Now it's ISO time. Sincere Porter go to work. Going behind the back. Finger rolling. So smooth. Effortless. Mike Bentley. Ch -ch. Boom. You, yo, how does he keep getting open? Oh, Ch -ch. boom. They starting to light shit up now. This is what they could do. Sincere Porter. It's time for you to go to work, sir. Rich Mack nearly guessed at that one. That's tough. Taking a lead back. Go out with some pride. Ch -ch. Oh, never mind. Put back by Rich Mack. Timeout call. Oh, my God. Another pickpocket by Adrian Sparks on Kyle Beecham. Kyle Beecham lobs it. Not Kyle Beecham. Royal Paris lobs it up to Rich Mack. Yeah, you got to get Nas Barkley back in the game. And uh, ain't, he not going to stop him. But, oh, get to that pull up. Never mind. Cleaned up by Rich Mack. Yeah, it's tough. Coming off a screen, Sincere Porter. Boom. Makes it a four-point game. Double screen for Adrian Sparks, and he finds Rich Mack. He misses it. Still on the glass. Activity. Yo, that's two seven-footers near him. And he making them look like bums. Oh, yeah. Kyle Beachman, he ain't know what to do. Rich Mack was right there. They turn it over. Niles Leslie playing the passing lane. They up by six. Pass to the Royal Paris running the floor, and he throws it down. The sweep is coming. It's inevitable. This Bullets team, ch -ch, boom, might just be inevitable. Is there a team that could stop them in this playoffs? They're going up against the New Jersey Generals. That Reggie Mack. Rich Mac series is going to happen. The streets needed that. Final four is going to be insane. Turn around, drop step. Yo, nah. Exclamation point right there. 15 point victory as they sweep their way to the, to the semifinals, the final four of the Golden Fictional League. They have yet to lose, lose a game. And they're the only team so far. Only two teams. Only two times so far in this series, in this series, the Golden Fishing League series, that there's been a sweep. And it's been both by this bullet squad. That just goes to show how dominant this team is. They dangerous. And it starts with him. That brother was made in the lab, literally. Rich Mack. Wonder how much he had. Kyle Beach on 27. A lot of turnovers. Only four assists. Since their Porter had nine in the fourth quarter. On the other side, 40 and 20 for Rich Mack. 18 and 10 in the fourth quarter. <laughs> yeah, you nah, you just got a lot at that stat line. 18 and 10 in the fourth quarter. Nigga had a double double in the fourth quarter. 29 and 13. Like, that's a great stat line for a whole game. Has seven blocks to go along with that. 17 and 21 shooting. And Adrian Sparks is out here handing plates the whole series long. But that will do it for this episode. They are moving on to the, the Final Four, taking on the New Jersey Generals, and that's going to be a series. It's your boy, Reg Dollar. If you enjoyed this, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button, as always. Stay safe, be golden, and I'll see you on the next one. I'm out.